Finally, after keeping silence on the developments of this project, Max Defense can finally speak up as the Department of National Defense DND, has made the developments public. The NOAA was released on 26 December 2019, and was received on 27 December 2019. It is expected that contract signing would be made within January 2020. Based on Max Defense's sources, Elbert Systems, IMI Joint Venture, which is a weird venture considering IMI was already procured by Elbert Systems last year and is just now a division within Elbert Systems, will be providing an extended length version of the Leonardo DRS, IMI Systems Joint Assault Bridge. The Joint Assault Bridge is a scissor-type bridging system with a military load capacity, MLC, rating of MLC 85, which means it can withstand loads of up to 85 tons. This means it can support even the heaviest main battle tanks which weigh around 65 to 70 tons. Leonardo DRS is the prime contractor while Israel Military Industries IMI, is one of the main partners of the project and development of the bridging system. In the U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps, the Joint Assault Bridge will use the General Dynamics M1 Abrams tank platform, and is seen as a less expensive alternative to the M104 Wolverine, and a replacement to the old M60 AVLB system that requires replacement. Since the Philippine Army specified a diesel engine track tank platform, it will not use the General Dynamics M1 Abrams tank platform, and will instead use a European-made platform. If Max Defense sources are correct, the platform will be based on the latest Leopard 2 main battle tank chassis called the Panzerschnellbruck II from Germany's Krauss Maffe Wegmann, KMW, which is the only tank platform that meets the specified requirements of the Philippine Army. Currently the Leopard 2 platform is used by the German Legion bridging system, although sources confirmed that the Leopard 2 could also be modified to carry the JAB system. This means that the Leopard 2 could become more likely for the Philippine Army to consider in its future main battle tank requirements, although this is more speculation due to the Philippine Army's planned MBT acquisition still in the process of being justified as part of the Horizon 3 phase of the revised AFP modernization program, and also the procurement process still unknown. Max Defense will discuss more about this possibility in future blog entries. With Elbert being the winning proponent, it is also expected that the vehicles would be equipped with new communications equipment using Elbert Tadaran's product line. Max Defense believes this will include also the E-Lynx mobile ad hoc network communication system which is said to be introduced to some of the Philippine Army's newer armored vehicles supplied by Elbert's system like the M113A2 mortar carriers, in addition to standard combat net radio systems like single channel ground and airborne radio system, SINCGARS, used by NATO countries and the US, including its allies like the Philippines. Philippines.